it's Tina, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another What's in My Bag video. Today's bag is the Vera Bradley Small Vera Tote in the Snoopy pattern. Um, Ski Slope Snoopy, I think it's called. Anyways, it is obviously Snoopy, and I got the bag charm with Woodstock, and then I also have a bag charm from Bath and Body Works. It's just a gingerbread holiday thing with hand sanitizer, because hello, we need that. All right, so it's a basic red microfiber bag. It doesn't have any pockets on the outside, but it has this adorable embroidered Snoopy on it. And Snoopy has his skis. He also is a super soft. He's like that super soft Vero Velvet feel to him. All the white area here is that super softness. And then he has this adorable three-dimensional puff ball on the tip of his hat. So that is Snoopy. Um, there might, on some of these bags, there's a hidden side pocket. I always forget about it. And in fact, glad I thought of it because here it is. Um, right here on the side, there's a tiny little zipper. It opens up and then you have a pocket and it goes around towards the back of the bag here. Um, and it fits my hand all the way over to right here. So it is, it's this big. I mean, my whole hand is in there entirely. So it's a big pocket. Plenty good place to hide your keys or a little wallet <coughs> or whatever you want. But I always forget it's there. I am getting better at remembering now that I have more of these pocketless bags there with the side. But there you go. And this little bag charm, the Woodstock, is a faux leather. He's, he's um, kind of big, actually. And it is a functional charm. So it has a zipper across the back end of it. And I just have my chapstick. It's Eos Lip Balm in that soft mint, whatever the flavor of vanilla mint. And inside it has the Snoopy pattern as well. And it's sort of, it's the shape that you see in the back of the head there. So kind of a whistle or, well, let's just say a whistle. <laughs> and then what I've done, it has that big clip on it. And I don't like it when you clip it on the strap like that. And then every time your strap drops, that thing is flying all over the place. So what I did instead on this one, was if you look at the zipper here, it has the open-ended tab on the zipper, so you can kind of see that. So I clipped it on there instead, and it's just long enough, since I don't typically zip the top of my bag unless I need to. So as long as I'm not zipping it, I can just hook that right on there, and it hangs right off the end. That also keeps it from overshadowing Snoopy, it keeps it in its own place, and it doesn't ever go down the strap, so I kind of like that. Um, I won't be in this bag for too much longer because I've got a lot of bags I want to try, um, but I am enjoying it. It is very winter-like um, for sure. And then inside, let's see what we have in here. There are six slip pockets around the outside, so three on the front and three on the back. And I have a couple of items inside as well. So let's just pull everything out. Um, yeah. The last bag I was in, by the way, was my Stephanie Dawn tote in the mosaic. So when I changed bags when I got home from my trip, I very quickly just like took everything out and shifted it over. So I left my sunglasses in the Stephanie Dawn mosaic case and I just put that in a slip. And that's fine. I don't actually take the case out. I can just slide the sunglasses in and out of that padded section right there. The middle pocket on the front is a notebook. This is a Vera Bradley Slim Journal in Holiday Owls from a few years ago. It just has lined pages inside and they are perforated so you can pull out the pages without ripping up the notebook. So I just do that as needed. It's a nice little purse size notebook. Have a couple of pens right here. And actually sadly, they're not Vera pens or anything. They're just generic pens. And then I have wired headphones in the third pocket. So those are the three pockets across the front. <coughs> Excuse me. Pockets across the back. Let's see what we got. In the one side, I have the zip ID. And um, I'll put a video here about the story for this. I actually ordered, or thought I ordered anyway. I ordered the one that had the picture of the embroidered Snoopy on it. 
and this is what came instead. This was separately orderable. Um, it turns out there was a, a mix up in the data online and so there was an error. So I had called Vera and they were gonna send me the other one. Well, I waited and waited and waited and it didn't come and then I went on my trip and it still didn't come. So I made contact with them, hey, where's that zip ID? And they said, oh, it was delivered at the gate. Well, that, that didn't happen, I didn't get it. So they would replace it, but they're out of stock. They're sold out, they're not restocking. So now I've completely missed out on that and they are refunding it. So thank you, Vera, for making it right. I just wish it was the more optimum solution. Say la vie, life happens, I'm not gonna get upset about it. Um, it's my bad for not being proactive on the receipt of it back then, whatever. Um, but I left it in here. I actually forgot I put it in there when I was transitioning bags. I was gonna put my business cards in here and I, for some reason, didn't. So so I have that and uh, I'll just leave it in there for now. <laughs> in the middle slot, I have nothing. And in the other side slot, I have my Holland Garden Vera Bradley manicure kit. Because you always need a little something for your nails when you catch it on things. All right, down the middle, I have a few things. I have this. Uh, oops, some gum. Okay, I'll take everything out and then we'll talk about it as I put it back in. First of all, my key cluster. Shopping tag bag charm or loyalty tag bag charm. I've got my truck key, which is big old hunk. I've got house keys, gate keys, mail keys. So that just goes right in the middle. This is Tokidoki Space Place in the um, Y pouch. And this just has alcohol wipes in it. Uh, and the good thing about the alcohol wipes is if they do dry out, because sometimes wipes do, even in a nice sealed container like this, this is alcohol wipes. So you just take some rubbing alcohol and pour it on them and re-moisten them. And there you go. So they don't go to waste like some of the other ones um, sometimes do. And this is a smaller pouch, but you can see the wipes themselves are even smaller than the pouch. There is a smaller pouch size which I may change to, but for now, this is what they were in from my trip. And so I just put them in the bag. I think, you know, it's nice size and you always need cleansing things. This is <laughs> Icebreakers Gum Experiment. There's just a few left, actually, four of them. But I just put the whole thing in my purse because there was room for it. Then um, this is the brand new little thing and I'm totally spacing on it's something medallion, oh my gosh. It's the new pattern, I can't believe I'm totally spacing on it, sorry. I'll put the data down below for you. But um, it's a new pattern and it's just an adorable little accessory piece. I'm totally gonna buy more of these. This is like a mini cosmetic or a small cosmetic size, but it's a great config. So you open it up and it has a zipper mesh pouch and a mirror. <clears throat> I left the mirror protection on there because I don't really need the mirror. I just like the case. So what do I have in here? I have an assortment of things. It's my catch-all. I have my cord. These two items, by the way, were the number one most used item on my trip for a month because my phone is old and it does die. And this little cord was just so convenient to be able to charge up on the go um, without having a big cord to carry around. And then just this and other external batteries. This is... Vera Bradley, actually, and I have two of them, and it's the one that came with the um, keep charged style of bags that came with the battery pack back then, so that's where those came from. I've got glucose tabs still unopened, thankfully. I've got three different flavors of Listerine um, pocket strips. I've got two of these because they're both, like one is full and one's almost empty but Black Cherry Merlot Hand Cream from Bath & Body Works, I really love that. I've got a hair elastic. I've got some Aleve and some Tums, just in case, like I was traveling, so I had that in my bag. And then I've got Dental Floss Toothpicks, and then I've got um, this little thing. This is a screen wipe, I forget the name of it, but it tucks into this little pocket by itself. And then I just have this, actually it was a friendship bracelet I had made and I just put it on there to give it a leash. Uh, anyways, it has a little elastic thing on it, but yeah, so I just left it on there. <laughs> it matches, whatever, I can always find that thing. So that's what's in here. It all fits very nicely, you just kinda throw it all in there and let it sort itself out. And if I need anything, it's pretty easy to find because it opens up and you can really get into it. 
So that is my miscellaneous catch-all case inside my bag and it fits perfectly right in the middle. And then this, this is a Vera Bradley tech case in classic black. It's a microfiber, it's an older style. They don't do these anymore. In fact, the tech cases they have now are the larger ones, which I also love. This has a removable wristlet strap on it, which is nice, but it's just a simple zips halfway around across the diagonal so you can really get into it like this. And this is currently my wallet. <laughs> I put my dollar bills, there's one pocket inside on the back wall, so I put my dollar bills and my two debit cards, um, and then the rest is all my cards. So let's see what I've got a bunch of different, yeah. These are not all ones that are essential right now, but I was clearing all the wallets and transitioning so you could see some of the weird things, yeah. So I've got military ID, I've got credit card, credit card, <laughs> No, those aren't all credit cards. Actually, they are. One, two, three, four cards. Driver's license, medic alert, VA card, Medicare card, medical check-in, VA veteran's choice, port information, like my access port. I've got travel, 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 Costco, Galaxy Theaters, and Safeway. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. I've got a bunch of cards. I just threw them all in here. Very accessible, very easy to get in and out of. So that is my current wallet. I've never done a wallet quite like that for any amount of time, but having just come off the cruise and being used to just having the zip ID with a couple cards, I'm going with this right now and I'm liking it. And it fits perfectly in that middle slot right in the side there. So I put it right here in the middle um, slip. And then in the middle of the bag, I just have gum, keys, miscellaneous case and wipes so it all fits very easily very comfortably and all set that's what's in my bag hope you're doing great have a wonderful day bye for now